I was invited to join a fantasy football league, but I have an issue. I don't watch football, and if you know anything about fantasy, you know that something here just doesn't add up. So, rather than embarrassing myself at the upcoming draft, I wrote an AI to do the picking for me. Here's how it turned out. First of all, we need to understand how the draft itself works. If you're already familiar with fantasy, skip to this timestamp. But essentially, fantasy sports is a way for a group of friends to create a league. In these leagues are hypothetical teams comprised of real players. You could put two of your favorite players together, but more often than not, a lot of strategy goes into making these picks. This is because, after the draft day where the teams are formed, teams in the league earn points based off of how well their players are performing in a real season. If you're wondering why this video is out this early, it's because my league's draft was in May. Okay, so now we know that the optimal team will have the best players, but how do we define that? This is where the ratings come in. ESPN has a list of projected scores for each player for the 2021 season. Since they might not be entirely accurate though, I scraped ESPN's historical ratings and compared them to how the players actually performed in those respective seasons. Then, I trained a polynomial regression model to realistically estimate how the players will play in the 2021 season, hopefully accounting for any error in the estimations. It's worth mentioning that in a sport like football, not all positions are created equal. Based on my league's rules, I found that, due to the distribution of which positions score the most points, it's less important to have a good quarterback than it is to have a good wide receiver. This should be factored into our ratings. Okay. So now that we've got a way to tell which players are the best, the problem starts to simplify. Because we're picking solely off of the rating, this is quite easy from a mathematical standpoint, as it essentially boils down to just a maximization problem. We have a set number of players we can pick, and we want to maximize the total number of points we have between them. From the programming side though, we run into some implementation issues. Allow me to explain. The draft structure can be represented as a tree. We start off with one pick, and for this example, let's say that there are only 4 players in the entire league. With this first pick, we have 4 options. Our next pick will then have 3 options stemming from each of the 4 as one player will already have been picked. This pattern continues until we have a finite set of outcomes that we can evaluate and then decide the optimal path. But all of these options come from just 4 players in the league. Now consider that there are over 100 players in the entire NFL. On top of that, we'd have to recalculate this tree every single time we pick. It's just unsustainable. Luckily, there is a solution to this. It's called pruning, and just like the garden definition of the word, it means to trim unnecessary branches. Yes, computer scientists are very good at naming things. Several approaches to pruning exist. I had attempted to implement a Monte Carlo tree search with the UCT algorithm, but it just wasn't working out. I eventually resorted to creating a bootleg version of the Minimax algorithm that I call Max. Minimax is an algorithm that works remarkably well for playing two-player games like tic-tac-toe, and it is extremely simple too. Through its use of alpha-beta pruning, we can cut down the branches from this huge tree to properly solve for it. However, since this fantasy draft is more of a one-player game, I had to only use about half of the algorithm, thus Max. If you want me to make a video explaining Minimax, let me know in the comments, but for now, I'll link Sebastian Lug's great explanation here. Now that my drafting algorithm was complete, it was just down to putting it all together. Originally, I wrote this draft shell, which accepted text commands to do the basic work of removing players and getting the next one. While it certainly made me look cool, it didn't function well because it required me to get the ESPN ID of each player I was removing. One thing you should know about programming is that there are always multiple ways to solve a problem. That being said, the path I took for this one was not necessary at all, and one only a crazy person would go down. But hey, you're still watching this video, so who's the real crazy person? I basically built up a user interface of the draft with a combo box for removing players to be more efficient. In all honesty, it only took a few hours and it wasn't very hard at all, but I needed a joke to put in the video. At last, I was complete and ready for my draft. So while my other league's members were busy watching old games and researching, I was chilling and watching Sanjatar videos like a smart person would do. I didn't need to prepare because my AI would do it for me. Essentially, as the other members picked their roster, I'd remove them from the list. When it was my turn to pick, I'd press this button and get my response. This is what my roster ended up being. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I don't know about you, but I think Detroit the baby is going to be pretty good this season. 
Alright, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. So if you liked it, hit that like button. If you didn't, I guess that other button works too. Either way, subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.